To complete an assignment that was made using the CK12 add-on in Google Classroom, go to Classwork or your stream and pick a particular assignment. Here you'll see the directions, and then you can click on the link to get to CK12. You're gonna to wanna to sign in with Google and make sure that the first time you give the needed permissions so we can actually complete grade your work and send it back to your Google class. And then when you get to here, you'll see the option to mark this complete. To do so, you should go ahead and work your way through the lesson, trying out interactives, exploring different inline questions, and learn the material as you go through. When you're done with that, click the start practice option. This will drop you into the attached practice for your lesson. And you can start checking and trying out pieces. If you need a hint, you can click on Flexi to get a hint. You can go ahead and use that. If you need a scratch pad, there's a little scratch pad at the bottom there as well. But here you can work your way through. If you start struggling and get one wrong, we'll give you an extra shot at that. If you're really struggling, you might see some messages or get a hint. And then maybe even some recommendations as you work your way through. Regardless, your goal is to get 10 correct and your skill level will adjust based on how you're doing on those questions. When you get your last question right, you have the option to keep practicing or stop and it will drop you back into the lesson. You're always welcome to pause and stop at any point in time, go back into the lesson, learn some more and jump back into practice when you're ready to keep practicing. When you're done and you've gotten that practice goal complete or if you need to turn it in before that point, go ahead and close that out and click mark complete at the top within CK12. So this turn in button is gonna notify your teacher that you've turned in your work, but this mark complete button is actually the notice to CK12 to send your grade to Google Classroom. So make sure you click this first. So I'm gonna go ahead and click mark complete. And if I go back to number types, you'll see that this is still assigned to me because I didn't also click that turn in. That add on option requires because you could have multiple pieces in there that when you're done, you also click turn in on the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and click turn in there. For other assignment types like videos or clicks, when you've made it far enough through, tried out the challenge questions, worked your way through those, CK12 will auto mark that complete and you'll just need to click turn in at the end. For simulations, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and do the same thing. So anything with practice or quizzes or things like that, as well as simulations, you're gonna go ahead and explore, try things out, check the options, different pieces here as you go in. And at the top here, you're gonna see the turn in option once again within CK12. And then once you've set that, we'll send your grade saying you completed this interactive. And then you're gonna turn in the interactive at the top. And that's how you turn in assignments. Make sure that you don't click the turn in button first, but the mark complete or turn in inside CK12. And then for things that auto turn in, if you're not seeing that option to submit it, go ahead and click turn in just to notify your teacher that you've sent the grade from CK12 and it's ready to go from there.